Today we are going to create a drop campaign. From your space page, you'll head over to the right side and click the big blue create button. Then you'll go to create a campaign. Once you're on this campaign selection page, you'll view drop campaign. These are to distribute NFTs with a single design or multiple designs as rewards for eligible users. After you click in to create a drop campaign, you'll see we have three tabs, the campaign info tab, the NFT info tab, and the who is eligible tab. We'll go over each of these one by one. After you have filled in the title and description, you can head down to the campaign period area. This is where you will choose the time and length of your campaign. Here's an example where we have it set from the 26th of October at midnight to the 28th of October at midnight. Or you have the option to click for no end time. A campaign will not end if you have this toggle on. Below that, we have the permissions. This is whether you'll have a public or private campaign. A public campaign will appear on the campaigns page and space page, whereas a private campaign can only be accessed through the specified link. Now onto the NFT info page. This is where you'll choose the name, the NFT contract, the attributes, and the media file. You can see here an example of a quick and easy name for an NFT that may involve Uniswap trading. Below that, you'll select the contract that you have created. If you'd like to learn how to create an NFT contract, please view our other tutorial video on that. Below, we'll select the contract. And then if you need to add any keys or values, you can add those here. On the Who is Eligible page, you'll see we have the options for open to all, choosing the minting cap, as well as the credential input. If you were to toggle open to all, this would remove the option for a credential and any user would be able to participate in this NFT without any task requirement. The minting cap tab is where you would choose the minting cap if you'd like to have an overall limit amount allocated for the campaign. This would mean if this is blank, there is no limit. If we wrote 10, only 10 NFTs can be minted on this campaign, regardless of the users. This means it would be first come first serve to these first 10 NFTs. Next is the credential tab. This is where you will list all of the credentials needed for users to complete to participate in this campaign. Choosing a credential in the credential tab means that this singular credential will get one entry. This means a user with this credential can mint one NFT. Now, if we click into the same tab and add a second credential, this means that the user with this credential and this credential gets one NFT. Now we can also change this to or, which means a user holding one or the other credential will get one NFT. We can also change this to five entries if we'd like as well, meaning a user can mint five NFTs. If you'd like to get more creative, you can add a second column and use the same customization. After you have finished filling out the campaign info, the NFT info, and who is eligible, you can either save as a draft here in the bottom left, or you can click this blue release button here. Once you click this release button, you'll sign a transaction in the top right, and your campaign will be public and released. This has been a tutorial on creating a drop campaign. Thank you, and see you next time.